Good morning, everyone. Um, let me first uh, recognize there are a couple elected officials who are here with us. Uh, my longtime dear friend from the County Commission, Karen Seal. And, uh, and I'm certainly pleased to, uh, to introduce her as being here also from our school board, Laura Hine. So I do want to thank everyone for tuning in today. I, I know this is not the ideal way that we would want to celebrate something as wonderful as the 10-year anniversary of the home of the Dolly Museum, but I am glad that we're able to come together anyway because the Dolly has been one of the co cornerstones of the arts here in St. Petersburg. And so I want to also say a quick word of thanks to Hank Hine, as well as the board and staff of the Dolly for inviting me uh, to participate today. Uh, thank you, Hank, not just uh, for, for your dedication, but not just your dedication, but the extraordinary life and recognizing the extraordinary life and legacy of Salvador Dali, uh, and also uh, the impact that you and this museum have on our arts community here in the Sunshine City as well. Um, obviously, the building that stands behind me uh, is an amazing design. I see Jan Weymouth here. Uh, so we have Jan to thank for this. Thank you, Jan. You know, in the last decade, we've seen a remarkable arts renaissance here in St. Petersburg. All you have to do is walk around the city and you'll see what I mean. Uh, we've seen new museums come to life. Uh, the James Museum of Western and Wildlife Art, the Imagine Museum, and the Warehouse Arts District has become a beacon for artists everywhere. The Shine Mural Festival, which Hank mentioned, has turned many of our outside spaces into kind of their own kind of museum. Uh, and we've seen world-class art installed at the new St. Pete Pier, so there's really no question uh, the city of St. Petersburg is a national and international arts destination. Uh, and we don't see any of these things as a competition with the Dolly, we see it as complementary to the Dolly. The Dolly, along with our fantastic Museum of Fine Arts and Museum of History, we're, we're here at first. This museum helped put St. Petersburg onto the world art stage, and it started this revolution of the arts here in the Sunshine City. Without the Dolly, I'm not sure we'd be the vibrant, thriving arts community that we have become. Uh, and I want to be clear, I, I believe the arts in this city, and particularly the Dolly, have played a key role in creating the economic successes that we are experiencing here in St. Petersburg. So for me, art is more than just a painting in a frame or an interactive display here at the Dolly. It is a critical part of the success of this city. St. Petersburg wins awards after awards and has write-ups in global publications from Forbes, the Washington Post, Travel and Leisure. We're seeing these all the time. And Sure, they write about our food and our craft beer scene. They write about our second to, to none park system and our new pier. And they write about our famous sunshine. But the, at the core of it all is the arts and our art scene. And at the heart of our art scene is the Dali. I believe things will only get brighter uh, for us here in St. Petersburg in the next 10 years. And we'll have the Dali and all of you to thank for that. So. Uh, it's an honor to be here today to celebrate this. Thank you all so much for having me here, and congratulations on an amazing last 10 years.